Sunday.
Today, three days after Christmas, Aryan and Alette come to celebrate that day when they pledged their love to each other 25 years ago. And today is actually a fitting day to do this. Why? Christmas celebrates God showing His love for us through the birth of Jesus. And Scripture tells us that marriage does the same thing. The love of husband and wife is an image of God's love and especially Christ's love to the church. Aryan and Annette, you have shown God's love through your marriage and through your faithfulness to each other. Now you come to give thanks here in the Heavenly Family here in Venlo. This celebration of last day is a special celebration because within it you will renew your vows of marriage. And now, brothers and sisters, uh, let us uh, confess our sins, uh, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have great sin in my thoughts and my spirit 
amid toil and joy, and breeze we pray and purify their love, so that together with their Son they may rejoice in the sanctification they bring to each other. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us now listen to the first name. Let us make man in our own image, in the likeness of ourselves, and let them be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, the cattle, all the wild beasts, and all the reptiles that crawl upon the earth. God created man in the image of himself. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying to them, Be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and conquer it. Be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, and all living animals on the earth. God saw all he had made, and indeed it was very good. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ loved the church and handed himself over for her to sanctify her, cleansing her by the bath of water with the word that he might present to himself the church in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. So, also, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one hates his own flesh, but brother nourishes and cherish it, even as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak in reference to Christ and the Church. The Word of the Lord. Last year, Pope Francis uh, welcomed uh, seven couples who celebrated their 50th and 25th wedding anniversaries. But on that event, uh, St. Francis told an anecdote that happened maybe before he was a Pope. And uh, he asked a couple who celebrated their 60th wedding anniversary. And the question of Pope Francis was simple. He asked the couple, are you happy? And then the reply of the couple was, we are in love. So are you happy? But he said, but what they said, we are in love. Perhaps if I ask also that same question to Arya and Alette, are you happy? Maybe the answer is the same. We are in love, no? We are in love. We can see that in the clean in the clip laugh, in the smile of Arya and Alette. Until today, they are still in love with each other. Now, the Pope acknowledged that it is true that there are difficulties there are problems with children or with the couples themselves. There are arguments and fights. But the important thing is that 
the flesh remains one. What I mean is that the two remains, uh, remain one, and the couples can overcome it. And according to the Pope, see, in these celebrations, we can show to the world that love is possible. And love is capable of allowing the couples to live their whole life in love, in joy, and in sorrow, with the problems of children and their own problems, but always going forward, in sickness and health, but always going forward. And according to the Pope, this is beautiful. And brothers and sisters, as we are here in order to witness this uh, celebration, wedding, purifier, maybe it is. It is vowing to love and honor and care for one another, not just on the first day of your marriage when there's the bread, the dress, the flowers, and the music. But now we have also. Still, you should vow to one another to love, to love one another. It is a promise kept and also renewed every morning, every night. You and Ariana and Annette, you did that in the last 25 years. Married life is loving, accepting the person as he or she is, and actually quarreling too. You have to accept that, no? Away, away, quarreling too, and the hundreds of small negotiations that go every day. But this remind you that you are alive, huh? you are love, and you are in love. So most of us are privileged to come to the house of we grow, we adapt, we adjust. And Christ's first miracle at the wedding in Cana, it was all about change, turning the water into wine. So the miracle of this sacrament is transformation. And actually, that is about married life. Change for the better, not for the worse, eh? Change for the better. So, Ariane and Alain, congratulations. As you celebrate today your faithful love in the last 25 years, you may look forward also. Continue to live with this love, or in the words of the gospel, remain in God's love in the next 25 years and beyond. Amen. Palakpakan mo lang Celebration at which you join your lives in an unbreakable bond through the sacrament of matrimony, you now intend to renew before the Lord your promises. You now intend to renew before the Lord your promises you make to one another. Turn to the Lord in prayer that these of vows may be strengthened by the divine grace. Led by you, Lord, for by your goodness, I took a letter as my wife. Blessed are you, Lord, for the for your by your goodness I took Arya as my husband. Blessed are you, Lord, for the good and the bad times of our life. You have stood love in our side. Help us to pray to remain faithful in our love for one another so that we will do with this good God. You have made the God. May the Lord keep you safe all the days of your life. May He be your comfort in adversity, your support, and prosperity. May you fill your home with his blessings through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
it increase and sanctify Lord the love of your servants Arian and Alet who once gave each other these rings as a sign of faithfulness that they may always grow in the grace of the sacrament through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 this ring as a sign of our love and fidelity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I am wear this ring as a sign of our love and fidelity in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank you, Lord, and we praise you for bringing us to this happy day. You have given us to each other now, together, we give ourselves to you. We ask you, Lord, make us one in love. Keep us in your peace. Protect our marriage. Bless our home. Make us gentle and keep us before each other. Amen.
Holy Father, who are called faithful, requiring and rewarding the observance of your covenant, be pleased to fill with your blessings to Ariane and Aleph, who celebrate the 25th anniversary of their marriage. Please respond. We hear the ability of yourselves, Lord. Holy Father, who with the Son and the Holy Spirit enjoy from eternity perfect oneness of life and communion of love, grant that these your servants may always remember and faithfully keep the covenant of love they made in the sacrament. Response. Renew the fidelity of your servants. Holy Father, who in your providence order all the experiences of human life so as to lead the faithful to share in the mystery of Christ, grant that this your servants, serenely accepting both good times and bad, may strive to cling to Christ and live for Him alone. Response. Renew the fidelity of your servants. Holy Father, who willed that the partnership of merits should be an example of Christian living, grant that all married couples may be witnesses in the world to the mystery of your son's love. Renew the fidelity of your servants. O oh God, in whose plan of family life as its a firm foundation, hear the compassion of the prayers of your servants and grant that following the example.
And then I have a head that is now kneeled down. And then the veil. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His children. We please, O God, to receive these offerings and thanksgiving for your servants, Aryan and Ned, so that from them they may draw peace and joy in abundance. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do and always and ever bear to give you thanks. When you sacrament, your grace unites man and woman in an unbreakable <coughs> bond of love and peace. You have designed the taste love of husband and wife for the increase, both of the human family and of your own family born in baptism. You are the loving father of the world of nature. You are the loving father of the new creation of grace. And Christian marriage should bring together the two orders of creation. Nature's gift of children enriches the world a new grace enriches your church. Through Christ, the choirs of angels and all the saints, praise and worship your glory. May our voices blend with theirs as we join in their unending hymn of praise.
when I didn't care for anyone but you. I swear we've been through everything there is. Can't imagine everything we miss. Can't imagine everything two of us can do through the years. You turn my life around The sweetest days I found I found with you Through the years You never be afraid I love the life we made So glad that I have stayed Right here with you Through the
Kiss the bride. 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 Kiss the bride.
ka po yung Gusto na ako, ano, may tipon, pero tayong wakon. Panasad niya. Pinanagin na. So, thank everybody. So 
Suerte. Our food is ready. Then we may call uh, Father Overboard to come forward to please bless the food. Father Overboard. Father. Okay, let us pray. Let us pray. God our Father, we are gathered here together to celebrate the silver wedding anniversary of Alet and Aryan. They have invited us to share with them. And we ask you now, bless Aryan and Alet and their son Daniel with good health, with peace and joy. And bless all of us who are here tonight. And may our being together with them fill all of us with joy about this Jubilee. And we ask you also bless the food which we are about to save now through the name of Jesus Christ, your Son and our brother. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I think the buffet is already ready. So, bon appetit, it's baklek, bon appetit, a good appetit, I don't speak German, only, only, uh, enjoy your food. Okay, bon appetit, bon appetit, good appetit. Yeah. It's sparkling. Thank you. 
congratulations.
Oh my 